What makes a good vlog? Is it your personality? The ability to tell a good story? Your editing style? Cool transitions and b-roll? The desire to make something for viewers? Or the desire to make something for yourself? The correct answer is probably somewhere in the realm of all the above. And if that seems like a lot, uh, that's just touching the surface. But truly, I think it's the desire to want to create something great. The love of it. The desire to post my stories, share my life, is probably what propels me the most. But I am getting hung up a little bit. I have been studying vlogs, techniques, what makes them great, how to get more traction. I have been studying the analytics. I have been studying thumbnails, SEO words, styles, niches, niches, transition techniques, cinematography, photography, filmography. And you know, all those things are important, but the most important thing is to turn on the camera. And little by little, hopefully, I'll improve. But my desire to make the perfect vlog has stalled me a little bit in my creative process. I've been spending so much time studying, I've been getting a bit of analysis paralysis. And I'm not saying studying is a bad thing. There are so many resources on YouTube right now. Thanks to those resources and help from others, I was able to identify what kind of vlogs I want to make. I want to do cinematic vlogs, but there's also run and gun, there's talking heads, day in the life of, educational versus entertainment, and I found that I find cinematic vlogs so gorgeous. And I want my style to be more like that, which takes practice. It's going to take a lot of practice. And I have been trying to incorporate some of those techniques and styles in some of my recent vlogs, uh, but I've been sorely disappointed by the outcome. But that's okay. I know that my desire to be perfect kind of overwhelms me sometimes, but with the same mouth that I criticize myself for not being perfect, I would tell someone else, hey, you need to practice. You're not going to get it on your first try. And you know, how does that make sense? It doesn't. When I first started out, I was blissfully ignorant on how bad I was. And you know, my skills improved over time from doing a daily vlog. I was just having fun. But the more I do this, the more my passion grows for it, the more I want to do better. And the more I learn, the more I realize I need to start applying those techniques. So I guess the first step was trying to figure out what kind of vlog I really want to make. I have decided cinematic vlogs really resonates with me. I love movies like Little Miss Sunshine and The Royal Tenenbaums, so it kind of makes sense. But with cinematic vlogs, there comes a whole new set of rules or guidelines. A lot of it has to do with storyboarding. Almost every shot of a cinematic vlog is planned out. And I am bad at planning, like really bad. I have been turning on the camera and saying whatever comes to my mind and rambling on and on. Or I script it out and then I turn into presenter Michelle. Very two different sides of a spectrum that I haven't been bothering to refine in any way, shape or form. So while I have identified my style and I've done plenty of research on different techniques as far as transitions go, camera movement, getting cinematic shots versus B-roll, scripting versus bullet points, I haven't really spent enough time trying to put this new knowledge into play. So I put up a poll. You guys voted. We're bringing back the dailies. I have a plan to get better at the style I want to do. How might you ask? Every day for the next 30 days, I'm going to attempt to make a 30 second to one minute short where I apply cool transitions, cinematic style filmography, and improve storytelling, or at least get better at getting my thoughts into place. And I'll be vlogging every step of the way. So these vlogs should be a bit shorter, probably except for this one, since this is the intro to it. So you guys know what I'm doing in the next 30 days, you know? So this is going to mean me getting outside of the house and trying to find shots that I normally wouldn't. I'm going to be working on my sequencing. I'm going to be getting wide, mid, and close shots of the same thing for a sequence. I'm going to try and transition from one sequence to another using movement and making sure the movement stays in the same flow. There's also similar object transitions, so I'll be working on that. I need to speed up my timing, not only with getting the shot, but also the pacing and the editing. Hopefully no more three minute videos where there's music playing in the background and just lots of random shots. I want it to tell a story in its own. And I think shorts is going to help me with that. It's gonna make me think of it needing to be captivating for no more than one minute. I also really need to get better at my storytelling and I have said this a million times before but I hate journaling. I really hate journaling and writing is a form of journaling and storytelling and I'm just really bad at it. But then I started to think, why can't journaling just be me taking notes? I like taking notes. But if I like taking notes so much, why do I hate journaling? 
because journaling feels like it's trying to tell people your emotions, whereas notes are just kind of cold hard facts. Now I don't know if you guys have noticed, I am a little bit guarded on my blogs. I think it is a good thing not to share everything on the internet and everyone does adopt a persona in front of the camera. But I also want to be more open with you guys. I want to be less guarded, be able to share my feelings in a more constructive but open way. So why can't it be notes on how I'm feeling? I don't have to be a great author. I don't have to be the best writer there ever was. I just have to make some observational notes. Like right now I have recorded for the last 30 minutes. I'm probably going to leave in five minutes and that's because I came in and I sat here and I said things that I thought of earlier to say and I didn't write them down. And I said, oh, okay, I'm used to winging it. I'll wing it again. And it doesn't lead to a very cohesive thought process. So I need to get better about writing stuff down. I need to get better about knowing what shots I can take, what I'm capable of at the moment, and if I can convey them in that storyline that I want to tell, and then continue to experiment and grow, play with the colors, play with the lighting, play with white balance, different lenses. And I think the best way to do it is to just jump in. So now that you guys know the plan, somewhat, hopefully, I think it's time to get into what tools I'll be using. All right, so first we have the Sony ZV-1F. It has an oscillating screen and it was $400 that came with the mic that I never have to worry about miking up with, an SD card and a battery and charger. And I got that from B&H cameras. 62 inch tripod, $20. Mini selfie stick, $20. Another selfie stick, $10. Camera, tripod, adapter, six pack, $9. Acaso Brave 7LE, $160. Acaso Waterproof Case, $13. Newer 18 millimeter HD wide and macro conversion lens, $52. And Profession Soft Focus Filter White Mist Diffusion, $10. All right, so here we have the tools that I will be using for filming and taking with me everywhere. And last but not least, my editing software. I use Filmora Wondershare. I think it's like version 13 updated now. I bought it for a year at $100, plus $40 a month for additional options, which I may decide to get rid of if I get better of editing on my own. So that would also be a plus from doing this. Put it towards a new camera. So those are all my tools that I'm using. And while I don't think that you have to have all of that to vlog. You can literally make great films just using an iPhone. I don't think it hurts anything. These are the tools I wanted. I could afford them, so I got them. All right, so now that you guys kind of know the plan, the tools I'll be using, and the ultimate goal, which is to be better at vlogging, I think all that's left now is to go out and put it in practice. Here we are at Squires Lake Park. This marks the beginning of my cinematic vlog journey. So at this lake, all I have to do is four rights or wait for Steven to come get me. He's gonna hike his hike and I'm going to look for different spots that I want to, that I wanna film to tell the journey of this hike. Uh, but first, there was a little bit of stuff that happened before we got here, so I'm gonna insert that in now. All right, have fun. All right, you know where you're going? Nope, do you know how long you're going? So, so there's, we're gonna walk up here to this lake. Uh huh. And if you just keep taking right, right turns until you get back to th this, this thing and then come back to the truck and I'll I'll probably I might I'll probably you go said I just take my time and then you'll come turn around and come yeah back. But that's what I'm but if you do that I'll I'll hike somewhere up probably up probably up this uh -huh. and then come back and get you he's gonna lose me yeah, well. and I don't know I how would, to follow. I, I don't know how to follow trail markers good and you're gonna lose me <laughs> four rights that's all I need to do is four rights you're, 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 we're gonna take a left and then you're gonna just keep going right you threw you. a left in there I'll be with you at the left. Maybe. Okay. It depends on how much it's just stop. But you're, you're going to you're going to take the first left. You're just going to circle around the lake. How long? How big is that? It's like the whole thing. Well, from there, like two miles, three miles. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. From here, it's probably another half mile, mile. Okay. Okay. All right. So this is the terrain we're working with. It's looking quite uphill. and I am definitely not trying to do any cinematic vlogging right now. This is me just showing you guys what I'm doing to get to the spot where I want to film. 
Holy hell, I'm gonna be tired before I even get there. Okay. If you thought that this wasn't still a weight loss channel, you were wrong. So this is my first time carrying a pack because usually I bring one selfie stick, my camera, and spare batteries. Oh shoot, did I remember spare batteries? Eee. I may have forgotten that. Uh, the back, the pack does add some weight. And is it wrong that my first thought was, shoot, shouldn't have brought the water, it's heavy. Don't, don't abandon all your camera gear. Abandon the water that you definitely, definitely need. All right. I really hope I have spare batteries. This marks the beginning of my cinematic vlog journey. Okay, so right here does look like a really cool shot when I'm looking at it with my eyes. So now I'm trying to move around and see if I like the lighting. It isn't really capturing everything that I want to show. So I'm just going to slowly back up here until I see it. So now that's where I want the trees to frame the lake, but now I'm not getting a good view of the mountains and the lake. So right now I'm just gonna take a static shot, as static as I can. And now I'm gonna move forward with a 2.5 speed or 60 megabytes per second and see if I can't get some movement into this frame that I might be able to use. All right, so that was the wide frame shot. So now I need a mid and close. So we're, we're gonna work on this. And also I had movement at it. So now I want to make sure that I'm still continuing a somewhat same forward movement that I had before. Either with my body showing the movement or with the camera moving forward. All right, so here we are lower and I'm just slowly moving it into frame. So I'm gonna switch over to my handheld camera and hopefully that will help me with the movement feeling a little bit smoother. If all of that still seemed really shaky to you, you are not imagining it. Uh, my hands have to get used to making those slow movements. I'm gonna move in a little bit closer and see if I can't find some form of a close-up shot that I like. Okay, so while I was looking for close-up shots, I found some really cool spider webs. I'm gonna take off my wide lens, switch to the macro, and get some close-up of those do a little bit of movement in the same direction and hopefully that can be my close-up shot. I'm gonna say that didn't really work, but that's okay, I am learning. I tried it, it's my first time using a macro lens and it's my first time trying to capture a spider web up close when I'm afraid of spiders and getting close to them. Only one way to go and that's up. One, three, four. But now I think you're a little too high. So, well, are you? Okay, I want my camera straight on. So this is why I brought my tripod with clamps because I can set the height. And now I just counted my steps back, maintain my same height and hopefully my same distance. And I can do a walking montage with different scenery in the background. I'm gonna switch you guys over to 60 frames per second and that'll make it a lot easier in the editing. Ideally, I can get five of these shots but now I can't pack away my tripod because I need it to maintain that same height. So I guess it will be however many shots I wanna take while holding my tripod. <laughs> so right now, while I'm on my hike, I am paying attention to my surroundings while also being in the moment. 
if I see something particularly beautiful and I'm not just thinking about the shots and I feel a certain way at a certain spot, that's when I know I wanna capture it. If you're just looking for a good shot, you're probably gonna get a good one, especially if you have the eye for it, but I don't have the eye for it. So right now I think it's most important that I'm being in the moment and taking in my surroundings and waiting for the moment where I'm feeling like it's especially beautiful, I'm touched by it, I, I feel a certain way about it, and then hopefully I can convey that feeling back to you guys. Okay, so I've come across a little sitting area where I can look at the lake, reflect, kind of take it in. This is a spot I would want to film. I can get a lot of cool angles. I can sit and write in my journal a little bit, take notes. I think there's a potential for at least three good shots here. Oh yeah, look at that. I can get in nice and close here, yeah. This is gonna be a good spot. For wide frame, I'm gonna be walking into it. For mid frame, I think I'm gonna be sitting down and then for a close up, I really wanna get in here with those, those lily pads and close up in the water. We're gonna do one normal speed and one slow speed just to give me more options. First one is coming into the clearing. I wanna see if I can't frame it just a little bit here. There we go, nice and slow if I can. Now I'm going sideways, so I'm gonna have to maintain a sideways position Let me be real honest with you guys, I think that was a forward movement rather than a sideways movement. So I'm gonna reshot, so I'm gonna reshoot my wide frame shot for a forward movement. <laughs> At least I'll have options. All right, so this is a spot that I am choosing to sit and contemplate for a minute. There's also fish jumping, so this is gonna be a really good spot for me to take a hot minute and reflect and look around. And since I'm doing that, might as well record it. Okay, so right now I'm just trying to find a good spot to frame it. You want a foreground and a background and your main object. So I'm gonna try and find something that will give us depth. Those leaves will give us depth. This tree right here is giving us a little bit of shaping. I think that's an okay shot. We're gonna keep that as a static one. That's enough of that area. Now I wanna show a sequence me getting out of this area. So I'm gonna do a backwards motion. Yeah, backwards motion <laughs> in three different shots. All right, so as I was leaving, there was a frog, and then I crossed paths with a snake, and I had the lens cap on my camera. So because there's so much wildlife that is moving around here, and usually that's not the case, I'm gonna be keeping my camera out and my lens off. And for the most part, I'm gonna keep it in slow motion, unless I have something to say, and I'm pretty sure I already missed some of my talking points, but that's fine, I've already talked enough in this vlog. Um, but keep it on slow motion, that way it can really capture any wildlife that I see.
I'm choosing this spot as my second location for the walking montage. It's different enough from the original one. I'm not even a third of the way through this, huh? Uh, maybe you're close to half, yeah. Okay, well, that tells me how long I've taken. You've already done, what, two miles? Uh, I don't know, because I was doing side trails and stuff. Uh, I wish I had wore different pants. Yeah. <laughs> They're <see>. very sweaty. <laughs> okay, this looks like a cool spot to go check out, huh? Yep. Steven's leaving me again. I'm gonna try and get some shots here. God, I don't know how I want to do this because it's so covered, it might not be worth it. Look at him in the editing room. Yeah, okay, so for this, I'm just gonna turn it into slow-mo while I'm walking forward because that's gonna be the best bet. This is gonna be the third shot. It's a little different. And this is now the turning around point. Everything from here on out is uphill and it's already getting midday and a little too hot to continue. So this will be shot three of the montage. Fingers crossed that this turns out all right. But if not, that's okay. I got a lifetime to work on it. Okay, so for the last half of this, I'm just gonna mess around and have some fun. Sometimes that's the best way. And then you see it in editing and you're like, oh yeah, that was good. Copying what other people have done before is a good way to get the basics down. I mean, there's, there's rules for a reason, suggestions for a reason, but developing your own style is what's gonna make you stand out and make people wanna turn into what you can create. So inspiration and a bit of fun. So I have shown you guys my thought process, a little bit of what I'm going for. This is gonna be a long vlog, but that is because it is the first day of a 30 day challenge, kind of explaining everything. I'm thinking in the next 30 days, I'm gonna just show you guys or tell you guys what my plan is for the day, show you guys what I'm shooting, and then at the end of each one, show you, show you my shorts. <laughs> that sounds weird to say, but that's gonna conclude for today. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions, if you guys think I did anything right, if I did anything wrong, if I missed anything that you would have captured. And right before I decide to go down this hill and trip, I think now is a good time to show you the end result. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.